signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Here we are back on Stellarium, digging deeper into Comet C2020 X3 SOHO. This comet was discovered on December the 13th. And they just loaded all the coordinates. And I have been running the data to see if I could discover some more information about this comet. Because it was obviously showing us some signs. For those of you who watched the last video, uh, there's no way around that these are not signs in the heavens. And as I dug deeper into the path of Comet Soho, the C2020X3, many uh, are named Soho, for that's the observatory that discovered this comet. They consider it a sun-grazing comet. And from the last information I got... It seems as though as it just did its last pass by of the sun that there was some disintegration. So I'm not sure that it's going to continue in its path. But what I found this year was nothing short of amazing. And this has to be a great sign for us. So I had to bring it before the brothers and sisters so that they could see this sign also in the heavens brought to us as a great and mighty sign. So let's explore. Here we are, Comet C2020 X3 SOHO. And what I did is I went back and I tracked this comet's path and trajectory through the Maseroth. And I found something very interesting. So if we go back all the way to the year 2000, January the 1st. And we continue through the months. We're going to see something very interesting. Uh, if you go through and you go back and you do your own homework on this, if you have Stellarium, you're going to find that this comet essentially stays... In the area of Canis Major, marking Sirius. And to me, this was a very great sign. That if I just kept going year to year. Here we go. We're just going year to year to year for January the 1st. And it doesn't ever leave this position marking the star Sirius until we get until 2019. And it begins to make a serious move. And in 2020, it goes on an excursion. And that excursion is where I found it lining up with the sun and the moon during the solar eclipse. And... As I dug deeper, let's go ahead and go there. Oh, 
Okay. So here we are. On the 14th. And we need to be able to see what's going on here. The first thing that you're going to notice is that it starts with the sun. Now, originally, I had found it with the moon. But it starts with the sun. It's like the sun hands off the capstone to the moon, and the moon cast the stone towards Ara, the burning altar, and then it lines up with Triangulum as the capstone. And then it makes its journey all the way back to its original position. And if we continue to watch this transition, we can see how it then comes to the moon. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the opposite. Okay, it's coming... It's coming from underneath on the 14th. Here we go. Let's watch this happen. As the moon exits the hoopa. Let's get our timing here. You see the moon coming out of the hoopa. I don't know what just happened there, but that was pretty amazing. Look at what's happening on Stellarium. As these two align. To me that's a sign in itself. At 8.53 a.m. As Comet Soho aligns with the moon. Solarium freaks out. Alright. Let's see the transition. The moon comes out. The capstone then moves to the sun. This is amazing. Okay, now we have the alignment. At 2.32 on the 14th, this is Spandin time, Pacific Coast. And let's see where it goes next. Is it going to go to Mercury? Family, this is amazing. Look at where Comet Soho is headed next. Now we have Comet Soho meeting up with Mercury at the very end of the day. Look at this. Alignment with Mercury. And then it transitions on. And this is where I found it in the constellation of Scorpio. And as we transition through, we 
we can see where I found its alignment with Trumpler on the 22nd. And then as it transitions through, it ends up in Aura on the 29th. And then it ends up coming into the capstone position on January the 1st, 2021 at approximately 1400 or 2 p.m. Pacific time. And then what I found is that it travels all the way back to its original position. So let's watch. And once it gets back to its original position, there in Canis Minor, it essentially marks the dog star again. Let's go ahead and go through months, makes it a little easier. So here we are again. Back at January the 1st. And it's back marking the dog star. And if we continue on the years. It's back staying in the constellation of Canis Major. And you can see as I go through the years, it's not moving anymore. And it goes back to a very small, you can see as we go through the months in these years, it just does a small rotational loop. So... What I found was a very, very important sign. And I believe that this, you can see here, that there is, from the year 2022, all the way up, it stays here in the head of Canis Major, marking Sirius. But in this one year, it makes a major journey, family. And this is where I found the sign. So I wanted to bring this to the brothers and sisters. It's time to get excited. I believe we're looking at a great and wondrous sign. And this sign culminating on January 1st with C2020X3 aligning with Triangulum is a great find in the heavens. Thanks for joining us.